Steel tubing components are common in many products throughout the world. And though they seem simple and straightforward, the methods to manufacturing them are not always that way. And depending on which one you choose, ultimately can determine how good of a tube you have. My name is Greg Whitman and I'm from Spuncast. And today I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about different ways to make a tube. The first I'd like to look at is sand casting. This is a method of static casting where molten steel is introduced into a mold and then the mold is broken away and the cavity that was left is where your steel is formed. It's a great method to create intricate shapes. However, it also has issues with porosity, particularly in the tubular form. On the other hand, there's centrifugal casting, which uses spinning force to form a tube and literally fills molten metal into shrinkage voids as they formed, thereby ensuring that you don't have those same problems with porosity mid-wall throughout a tubular product. Another advantage of centrifugal casting is that the tooling is permanent. And so you're not dealing with lost sprues, risers, and gating systems that add cost and time to your product. If you'd like to learn more about this or anything else that we do here at Spuncast, you can check out our blog below.